Hey guys, it's Mrs. Lamb and my name's Sayla. This is Sayla. And we are gonna spend some time today making a Flamingos. flamingo. Yeah, we watched this cool thing on oh. Disney Plus. Oopsie. On Disney Plus this morning. Here's and the oh that's Benaya. Okay, just wait. Um, we watched this cool show on Disney Plus this morning, the three of us did, and it was about flamingos, and I thought, we should just be drawing a flamingo right now, because they're so cool looking. Yeah, now, they're pink. They're pink. I love it. Okay, Sayla. So, I have with me a picture of flamingos, and this is a really good skill for you to have and for you to build. It's to be able to look at a picture and to be able to draw it. Um, so we are gonna do just that and we are going to paint it after we're done. So, get down please. We get it like a little body. Yes, okay, so I'm gonna tilt this down and we're gonna so make you a, can see. And we're gonna make a, a head, a tiny head. Okay. So, here's what we have. We have a piece of paper right here. We've got a few different paint brushes. We have some tempera pink paint and we have some white paint. And we also have a Sharpie. I don't know if we should use this. Probably not. Maybe we'll get a pencil. Can you get a pencil? Great. We've got... Do here. not fight or you cannot be in the video. Okay, and as you can see, we've got a few different sizes of paint brushes too. Just in case, uh, Sayla this? or I... Mom. Go please. I, wanna I don't you. want that, I want a pencil. Uh, just in case we wanna make different lines for the background. Uh, I have some different paint pots here as well. Uh, could you sharpen that one for me? Benaya, please get down. But I can't see. I also have some really neat watercolor pencils and I'm gonna use those to do the legs. And maybe a couple different, thank you, different details. Benaya, get down. Now, I went down and I found some different sketchbook paper. I found some different sketchbook paper and Sayla's using some printer paper, which is not ideal, but that's okay. In fact, no, I grabbed one of yours. Oh, you did? Great. Uh -huh. All right, so now I have one extra of that. So, let's begin. Uh, the first thing I notice about these flamingos is the shape of their body. So their body is actually an oval with a little pokey at the end for their tail. Uh, so we're just gonna pick a spot on here. And I don't know if I'll do exactly this cause that's a lot of drawing. Um, maybe we'll just pick one, two, three. Maybe three. Maybe three. It's good to do things in groups of three yeah yeah more like odd numbers three five seven something like that it's called the rule of thirds we'll go over that eventually okay so here we go here's my drawing let's get let's get started now if I'm looking at this it's kind of tilted upward Okay, so Sayla's got hers going. I'm starting from the tail. We'll see how that works. Oval with a pointy tail. There we go. How's yours looking, Sayla? Just oh, it. she's going really fast. She's going further than we are doing. So this, their head actually starts uh, underneath and curves up like an S. So from the like the middle of your oval, start by actually going down, coming back up, and like an S, 
come up over the head and into the beak all in one fell swoop. Look at that. All right, so this one comes a little bit further underneath. And as it gets closer to his, the top of his neck, it's getting skinnier and skinnier. And then we'll just stop right there and take another look at his head. So I need to come out a little for his head. And I need to, whoops, Sayla, you're gonna knock that over. Come down into the beak. And here it is. So, here's mine. Looks a little silly. Here's Sayla's. Good job, Sayla. And let's give ours some legs like Sayla did. And in fact, I'm gonna make this maybe a little bit skinnier. Just so, well, it still looks a little strong, but that's okay. When I paint it, maybe I'll go over it a little bit more. So here's his little legs here. And they're gonna come down. And Flamingo's legs are kind of funny because they go back and then forward. Um, because their their feet are almost they're backwards than what we would walk with. So I'm gonna turn this around for a sec because I'm gonna get confused. Alright, here we go. Here he's coming back. He's coming back. And like this. And he's coming back like this too. Just like this. He got really strong right here in his knee. We're gonna ignore that. Pretend it didn't happen. Now, uh, when I go to paint this, I'm probably going to add a little bit um, to him because he started out kind of skinny with a big old head. That's okay. All right, so should we do more, Sayla? Should we do extra flamingos? Should we do more flamingos though? Should we draw some more? Just three. Or should we do, okay. Let's do three. Three, I'll make a baby. You'll make a baby, the how babies we, are cute. How do we make a baby, just like Oh, this? how do we make a baby? Let's just draw a smaller one. And the babies, like we saw on the show this morning, are gray. So we're just gonna start with his little baby feet. We're gonna start with and a tinier body. We saw this morning it was really cute. They were almost doing a little sorry, a little dance while they were finding their food. Mommy, what? Yep, they'd, they'd walk to one side and they'd stir up all the fish and then they'd walk to the other side, they'd turn around. It was pretty fun. They were just, it was like a little dance party, flamingo dance party. Mom. We're making his neck. There we go. The big his neck's one, a little skinny. Big one, little one. Now, when you're drawing and you're making oopses, that's okay. I try to not draw very hard, just in case I don't like my lines. And then, and then I can erase it and I won't be able to see my lines after I'm done. When you're painting, it doesn't really matter, but if you're just coloring or something, you will be able to see your lines if you mess up on them. Um, so that's why it's important to not, you do not get the paint out yet. Do you have three flamingos, Sayla? Uh, I just have two. 
There we go. See? How about a mom and a dada? A dada? Yeah. Do we dad. need a daddy? Yeah. Do we need a daddy one? Yeah. All right, let's draw. Where should we put him? Should we put him facing the other way? Uh, maybe. I have nothing going on over here, and they're facing this way. So they're looking this way. So if I put my daddy looking the other way, uh, we're not going to be very um, yeah, it's, it's not going to have a strong composition if I do it that way. Now, if we look at our picture here, he, we do have one looking the other way, but look, the majority of them are looking this way. And when you're doing art, and even when you're taking pictures, if they're moving all the same direction, quit that, quit that, um, then, that, sorry, then that is a, that's a concept that we like to see in art, um, movement in the same direction. Um, so he's just... He's just out here doing his own thing. He's gonna go that way. But I'm gonna choose to put my daddy flamingo looking this way. So all three of them are looking the same direction because when you look at my picture, I want you to look over here. I want you to see there's a daddy looking here, there's a mommy looking here, and then there's a baby looking here. And maybe we'll put something, don't turn off. Maybe we'll put some, maybe we'll put a little fishy in the water or something. Something exciting that they're looking at. Did you just hit my iPad? Okay, try not to hit my iPad, darling. Okay. Here we go. Here's our daddy flamingo. He's going to be a little bit bigger. And I'm following the same lines I did before. And you know what? He's going to hang off this side of, of my picture, and that's okay. Uh, that's okay because you're, when your brain looks at a picture with somebody's, um, unless it's their head, and it's just a little bit cut off, your brain says, oh, yeah, Mom? he still has a body. You just can't see it. Mom. What? I'm, I'm shaking this up for us to paint. Thank you. Sometimes you have to shake temperate paint. Don't okay, shake that. Here we go. And uh, when I do the beaks, I just draw a little carrot shape pointing into their head. A little eyeball and his little mouth. They actually have little noses that are kind of see-through. You can actually see. Go. You can actually see all the way through to the other side. It's very strange looking. Um, but we'll just put their little nostril there. Oh, yeah, he needs some feet. What do you think, Ben? Does the daddy need feet? Sure, yes. Sure, yes. <laughs> ben, are you going to draw with us? I can't. Oh. Well, you probably could. You could try. Mm, well, I need help. Okay, well, maybe we'll do it later then. Okay, so you notice that I stopped their feet without anything, right? So maybe we'll add in a little spot like they're standing. I will. Like they're standing in the water. I need one of these. That's fine, Ben. You can use that. Okay. Here we go. Mama, Daddy, Baby, and I don't know. We'll put something there. I haven't quite figured it out. Maybe it'll be a fish jumping. Wouldn't that be funny? Yeah. That'd be kind of funny, right? <laughs> yeah. Maybe we should just draw that. We'll just draw a little fishy. <laughs> little fishy playing in the water. I can't make a fish. That's okay. He's like a mini whale. <laughs> really big. He's smiling too. Meh. 
Can't get me flamingos. I don't know if fish have noses like that. I don't think they do. That's funny. We'll give them a little fin. And then make little splash marks. And there we go. You can't really see that, can you? Fish. Ta da! <laughs> okay. Silly. So silly. All right. Let's get our. Let's get our horizon line in place. Remember, when God created the earth, he separated the earth from the sky. And that's what we're doing. We're separating the earth from the sky. Mama, can I have one of yours? Mom, can I have one of yours? There, yeah, that's a little better. Mom, I don't really. I, have one of uh, I thought you were going to, you're just using the pencils for now. After that, then yes, you can use a paintbrush. Okay, here we go. Now, you see we've got some different... I'm just making little squiggles. I'm not making them really hard. Um, but they are... You can see they're, uh, they are existing. There. And that's just to make uh, the water... Now we can do whatever we want in the sky. Maybe there's some other birds flying. We could look up a picture of a flamingo flying. Uh, we can just make a really big um, sun. Can you sharp this for me? Uh, no, not right now. I'm kind of doing a video, bud. No, Maybe we just that? make some interesting no. bird no, shapes in the sky. I can't do it. Um, we could even do some clouds later if we wanted to. All right, so let's get started. Um, how about we get some blue out here first? Now, we don't have to fill in our complete area with blue. Can you get a water cup? We could use some water for this one because this one's a little dry. That one is too. You're scared of this pencil sharpener? That's okay. Alright, like I'm gonna look at this green color too. Oh, my little paints are a little dry, but that's okay. We will work with it. Now, we've got this all ready to go. Need some water in that, silly goose. Let's get the pink ready to go too. I'm gonna show you something really cool with this pink that we can paint with. Oh, keep your hand on it. Yes. All right, get down. What, what you're doing using a white colored pencil to sharpen. I'm going to use red. All right, here we go. I've got a little flat brush here because I want my water to be flat. And you know what? It'd be a good idea to get this iPad out of here while we're painting. What do you think, Sailor? Yes. We're all done using it. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah, we'll wake that paint right up. I'm gonna use a little paint. water, a little more water. Okay, here we go. I'm just gonna do little swipes on the water. Now, if you remember being in class, when we usually when we see these crispy little, whoops, these crispy little lines here. That usually means we need a little more water. Right now, I think they kind of look neat. Don't you? Yeah. And I don't know what this is now. I made an oops and now it's a little silly. We'll just bring the water line up. See? It went away. Yeah, this, this adds a little texture to it. That's kind of fun. What's Sailor? Why don't you show him yours? Look at that. Sailor's doing really good. Okay, let's get a little more. In here. 
sometimes it's just fun to sit down in the afternoon after lunch and well mom look at this do some yeah our water's turning colors isn't it it's fun to just sit down and do some painting mom could i use what are yours brushes because mom i need help with you i know you're just gonna have to wait if all right notice i changed colors down here Because I thought maybe, just maybe, the light on the water might make it look lighter further away and darker the closer you get. And we'll just kind of mix in these areas too. Make sure that it looks like our flamingo's legs are under the water too. I know. You've mentioned that, honey. This one's darker. Yeah. And a lot of darker. What do you got going, Sayla? Nice. Very good. See, we don't have to paint the entire ocean blue. You can if you want. Oops. In fact... I might get just get a ton of water on my brush right now. And let's see what that does. Mm, maybe not that much water. Maybe this much water. Let's just try it back here. Look at that. Now it's a light color. When you put a little bit of paint and a whole lot of water, it becomes a really light color. Okay, so then we can still see the detail, but we also get a blue, a Mom, completely can I painted use yours? paper. Get yours. My what? Your pencil. Sure. Mom, look at what I'm making. I'm flicking. Oh, you're flicking the paint. I've got some on my toe. All right, if you're gonna start flicking paint at home, you better be prepared. To clean that mess up is really important when we're doing art at home that we clean up after ourselves. Otherwise, we might not get to paint much anymore. Right? Yeah. Benny's, Benny's is saying yes. That is true in my house. This looks so fun. I think one was Look at the way it. this paint is behaving with this much water. Mm. Then no. It's just picking this paint up and smoothing it everywhere. And it looks really neat. Uh, it's masking it everywhere. Mm -hmm. Mom, I'm making houses in the oh, detail. Details. Very mm. nice. Details. All right. What I like about this water is you can tell that it is moving. This water is not holding still. I don't know if it's windy or maybe they're in like a river. It has a current. But you can tell that my water is moving. Sayla, is your water moving? Or is it holding still? It's, I got, I got ears too. I got ears? I got ears. Oh, ears. No. What? What are I, you saying? I'm, I'm getting yours with mine. I'm just mixing it with help. my colors with yours. Could I need a paintbrush? Hmm? I need a paintbrush. Get one. It's midnight. Midnight for flamingos. <laughs> and we have some uh, pink paint right there. It's nine night. There it is. There's mine. And I might have missed a couple spots. 
and I, I don't want to take too long though. Because if you get because... done before me, then I'm just sitting here doing art. So Mom, if look you at mine. get done look at mine. before me, go ahead hey, and Mom. fast Mom, forward. Oh, cool, Sayla. Yours is Are we ready pretty. to do some? I'm getting some. Is mine bed? Sure, it's pretty. Um, Season, can you tell me? Last time, when I was. What, what are you guys uh, saying? I just I got very distracted. Okay. Yeah, go feel free to fast forward if you need to. And I'm just going to finish this up. Okay. So, now, let's look at this guy. Blue. The sky is blue. My paint is dry. Must wake up my paint. I'm just gonna get a ton of water in here because you know what? This paint's not gonna last much longer than today. Here we go. Mix it up. Mix it, mix it, mix it. Alright. Need more water. All right, here we go. Got a nice brighter color. Uh, you can just use, if you've got some white and some blue, that's what you can do. Oof. And we got some blue scissors here. Yeah, Ben's got blue scissors. That doesn't really have much to do with it, but he's four. And I yeah, make okay. stuff. And I'm five. I make, and I make everything with scissors. Do you yeah. make everything and, with scissors? And I'm five, yeah. and I have a Kelly. And I have a I have a paint pencil, and it's for drawing the flamingo paint, painty. Cause painty. Why? Oh, I don't need a paint pencil. I think, it, I think it's not. All right, we're getting we're getting close in this sky right now. If I wanted to, and I might, I might give it a try. And I I'll could the, get it, some water. And I'll cut ben, the, Ben, I'm talking right now. I could get some water and some white, and I could make some maybe some puffy little clouds. And you know what? We'll just go over the sun just a little bit. Over the sun, over the sun. Here comes the sun. Do, 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 do. We can cover it up just a little bit. Okay, let's get some. Let's take. Go. Go. We don't touch each other's paintings, remember? Rule number one. Let's give it a try. So, here's some white. I'm going to get some more water. And let's just Mine make looks it. Bad. Yours looks bad. Yours doesn't look bad. I like yours. I like your funny little unicorns. All right, unicorns, flamingos, whatever. And, and Did we you get draw unicorns? No, you drew flamingos. Silly Mrs. Lamb. And uh, we get and we get some. Paint here. Mm -hmm. Get some. Let's um, get a little more blue into these clouds. We got some pink paint and white paint. Mine looks so bad. No, it doesn't. It looks cute, Sailor. We got what are these Don't colors? Be. Don't be so sad. Pink and white, and that's. All of those things. Uh, oh, Yours is going to look different than mine. I mixed up the white with blue. That's okay. I did that too. You're not going to All right, be... here we go. Here is... Here is my... My mom. flamingos. And we need the my water, my sky, and even a few clouds in there. And we need some... Uh, we need some sun. Pink we up. need to do the sunshine beforehand. 
Probably should. Mm -hmm. Oh, Benny, don't open that yet. Okay. You know what? Here's we might need this. to take a break and um, you are mixing, Sayla. You are mixing the blue in with the pink and you have way too much water on your brush. And we need some pink for the flamingo's colors. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what kind of colors are. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to switch out some paint brushes here. And we need some uh, paint for the sun. Yeah, let's make some sunshine. Yes, the sun looks good. So mine looks bad. No, it doesn't. It looks pretty. Yeah, that's sweet. I agree. Green color. Yeah. Look at that. It started to mix to green right there. That's what and, happens. Uh, we That's what happens. You and, know, and what we, if we did a little we got a big sunshine on the water here just to pull the light in? Mom, I want to use the big one. I'm doing big. this really lightly just not trying to mix it. It's Just sugar. trying to pull the light in a little further. And we got some green color here. Mom, can I use the big paintbrush? I doubt it would come down this far, but like I said, we're just trying to make it a little brighter down here. Down here in the room. <laughs> and we need and we got some uh, green covers right here. It looks pretty. Don't be so hard on yourself, Sayla. And I have If you would like to, head. you could do another one. Now that you know what you're doing. It's just like I it's tell just... the kids in, ca in class, you can't be hard on yourself. You've never done this before. Okay. <sighs> So let's let's try something new. We have a big. I have this really big fluffy paintbrush, and in fact, I wanted to use a cotton ball. I don't have any cotton balls. I'm realizing. Mom, I'm not about to go this. out right now and get some we, just because it's cotton ball. I don't need cotton balls that badly. Okay, that's cool, Sayla. Um, we forgot about feet. Should we do the pink first? I think we do the pink first. Yeah, All right, here we go. So I've gotten, and now if you have a cotton ball, you can definitely go grab that and just start, um, just like we do in sponge painting, and we just got, start blopping it on there. Got blue coat, here, got blue I need to, paint. I need got to cover my space here because I'm about to fall off. Pom, pom, pom. pom, pom, pom. All right, here, Ben. Here. Turn that into something. Mm -hmm. What could we turn that into? Um, I need one. Think. Do you need one too, Sayla? Do yeah. you want me to do and, some blobs and, for you? And, and, and Mom, could you do mine for me? Nope, I'm not going to do yours for you. All right, so don't, don't start crying. Here, let's do some blobs on here. This is a super fun game that we sometimes like to play, and it's called Turn the Blobs into Something Else. I want to do it on the water right here. Here, maybe we do a little bit more back. here. I see, what I can see. you turn this into, Sayla? I just want to make it on there. Oh, make it on there too? There you go. All right, let's get this finished. Now, if you have maybe some feathers would be fun for your flamingo, or maybe some pink palms. This doesn't have to be just a little painting on a piece of paper. We could have all kinds of different fun with this. Whoopsie, careful. I'm going to get a smaller paintbrush and go up. Go up here. Now, 
uh, I can as well I can mm -hmm. get some white on here because mm -hmm. you know that flamingos aren't oh, just pink they are also gosh. white so I could mix this white in here see what it looks like if I didn't like it I'd probably just grab um, some more pink and mix it until I thought it looked better uh, but I actually think this looks pretty neat what do you think Ben do you think it looks neat my, he's not saying my list, you want to use this my flamingo is going down his face All is going right, down in the go. water catching fish yeah down down into the water catching fish and I get some uh, the big pink fish yeah. It's kind of challenging to go up their necks um, with that same little blop, blop, blop. So maybe I'll come back when I'm done uh, with a white one, with a white paintbrush and do the blobs just so it looks like I did that. But I don't have to actually do that because um, that could be... A little boring. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Dropping water on my thing. Ah, again. Uh, Emperor Grace. Kate is always an adventure. Dog. Did you hear him groan? Ooh. Our little Jonah. He's actually pretty yeah, big. He's he's a German shepherd. Mm -hmm. And copper copper is the spaniel. Uh, copper spaniel. And a copper spaniel. <laughs> sure you and, guys are cute. And I got a big pin flesh going here. Mm-hmm. It's Let's straight up. Okay, straight up here we go. Um just like I said I would, I'm gonna grab this white. And There's blob. some big clouds under, and and I dried my paintbrush. Okay, up. you are dripping water everywhere, Benaya. Please stop. <laughs> Hopefully, you don't have a four and five year old sitting next to you, and or maybe you are a five year old. Say with a five year old. Yeah, maybe. I'm a three year old. It's. We just like to draw on our own papers. Hopefully you don't have the same dripping problem that we do with our one little water cup. Okay, here we go. All right, that's enough. No more. And, um, You're dripping water all over the table. Here, do this one. Okay, what else do we need? So... Where are the watercolor pencils, Ben? I did you take them? Nope, they're you did. here. No. Oh, okay, there they are. Great. Last I saw, mm. you had them. Here's our brown, and we're going to give this little flamingo some brown legs. And then I'm going to show you what they do. And uh, I need help in, with my flamingo. I know. And Mama's not going to help. I will help you when we're done. Okay. And uh, I, I knew you would have, I have a paintbrush. So where I need a... You're going to wear the paintbrush, Ben? No. Uh, Mom, I'm mixing, I'm mixing all of them. Okay. Here's some brown. You know what? Let's add in I made a little more blue. Cloud. Now I'm gonna make another cloud right here, and then another cloud right here. And this is also something you can do if the if you don't have watercolor colored pencils, you can just do this with a regular colored pencil. I showed them mine. Mm-hmm. Mine is really cute. Uh, you can just fill in the spots with some extra color, structure, structure, and that yeah. helps it kind of blend the water together. I mixed it all up. Nope. Because water can have different looks Mom, to I it. Mom, I mixed it all up. Different colors of blue yeah. in it. Ugh. Chirpy. Ugh. It's gotta, gotta, gotta. Oh, I 
paint on the table. Mm -hmm. And uh, Sayla's gonna about to go get a paper towel, I think. And, uh, and dry mine off. And dry your mess up because you have quite the mess going. And uh, I, I don't have a mess, so I won't. You don't? Nope. <laughs> Just how is that even true? All right. Here's my wet paintbrush, and you'll see that this watercolor pencil blends really well, just like paint. Super cool. Can you move yours? Nope. I am making. No. Okay. All done. Oh, trust me, you have enough. That's a lot of pink paint still. Oh, do you see that airplane coming? Or maybe that's a helicopter. Whew. Awesome. Great timing helicopter. All right. What am I missing? Beaks. We're missing beaks. I believe the beaks are black, right? Yeah. The beaks are black, Sayla? Do you remember? Yeah. I think they're black, so we're just it's gonna so color like them black. This, the paper towel thingy. See? The paper towel. Yeah, the paper towel and thing is towel. black. Mom, what are yeah. you gonna be done? Soon. I don't like that. Let's get some, a different color in there. You know what, I think they had some orange on their beaks too. I think I'm remembering a little bit more color. So let's just do the, that this side in orange. And maybe this, this pretty enough on and you. this. See? Mm -hmm. A paper towel, what do you all right. Okay, let's get the paper towel. Mom. And here's his beak. Aren't those colored pencils neat? And we had those some super scissors cool. here. Please stop. Okay, so let's do the orange first. Actually, here's orange, some orange in the creases, and then in the mouth. We, we got won't some do scissors as much. here. We won't do as much and as hard this time. We'll see if that spreads a little uh, less overwhelming. And we'll do little baby beaks. Little baby beak here too. Oh, and we can't forget about our fish. What color should our fish be? <gasps> uh, black. Black. Gray. 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 Black. Boring. What other colors do we have? Do not use this. Put that away. Go get a, go get a paper towel. <laughs> yep. Okay. All right. His beak is mostly orange, but maybe, maybe he can be just like that because he's a baby. Babies are supposed to be gray, by the way, but pink is so much more fun. Okay. All right. What else? What other colors do we have instead? Oops, right on your painting. Go move that. Good gravy. Okay. What? Hmm. Maybe. Maybe our fish should be purple. Fish is not purple. Fish could be purple. Mm -hmm. We could have a purple fish if we want to. And also, we get some uh, scissors here. Hmm. Let's see. We need a bright color. Maybe we'll do red. Maybe we'll do purple and red fishy. Okay. And. Trust me. Okay. Mm -hmm. we'll 
color in our fishy. And he we had to be bright, otherwise we wouldn't be able to see him. Okay, here we have it. We've got, whoop. Mommy Flamingo, Daddy Flamingo, Baby Flamingo, and fish. And Mom. Hope you had fun. Mom, I eat onion. We are now going to clean up this mess. And Mom, I, yep. I need help with yep. my flamingo. All the stuff we're going to put away once we help Ben with his. Look. We're going to help Ben with his. And then, oh. oh. Yep. We're going to clean this all up.